Hey, this is Keith Ross of Keith's Frame of Mind with some great news for uh, OM-1 Mark II camera owners. If you've ever tried opening raw images from your OM-1 Mark II camera on any Apple devices running an iOS operating system, you would have been sadly disappointed. iOS couldn't decode or display the raw files from the OM-1 Mark II. That meant you couldn't preview, open, or edit them directly in native apps like Photos. It worked for the first OM-1 body, but not the Mark II, which was released in February of 2024. I discovered this as I was preparing for a couple of photography trips this year to the Grand Tetons in Costa Rica. I needed a way to be able to review and transfer RAW files from my camera card to an external drive, since they were week-long trips and I could overrun my cards. And I also wanted the data saved off of my cards in case of problems in the field, or with my cards, lose my camera, what have you. So even though I carry uh, two 512 gig SD cards in each of my cameras with shutter speeds of 50 frames per second, you know how fast that adds up. So I went and bought a brand new iPad and a Samsung four terabyte external drive and went to test my workflow process. I was shocked to find out that I could not open or preview any of my raw images at all. I tried everything I could think of as a workaround, but ultimately all I could do was blindly transfer files by plugging in an adapter for the USB and camera cards, one of those little sticks, and uh, plug that into the USB port in the iPad and then just transferring them all over en masse. Doing that seemed like a terrible solution and a waste of time moving pics that I do not want. Uh, there was no way to see uh, how my images were looking and if I was happy with the results. Um, I didn't want to come home with, and find out that I have images that had problems and uh, end up missing things out of my collection of birds. So here's where it gets good, and I bet you can relate to this. Uh, I called Apple Tech Support asking why the iOS platform couldn't decode or display the raw files, and uh, the, uh, or open them up in like photos. So they suggested I just import the files into the mobile app for Lightroom as a workaround. Well, that was a terrible idea for a couple of reasons. Uh, it meant importing 10,000 images onto my iPad, which would not fit on my hard drive and take forever to upload all those uh, unneeded files. Um, the other big killer here is they automatically upload to uh, Adobe Cloud and there was no way to prevent that from happening. I couldn't turn it off in preferences. There was nothing I could do. So I would be sitting in uh, Costa Rica, tethered to my iPhone, uploading 10,000 pictures to the cloud while I try to call through them individually to, to delete off the images I don't need. Like for example, when you're high speed shutter and you're doing birds in flight taking off, you get a bunch. So the Adobe Tech, Adobe Tech agreed that this was a terrible solution and suggested I needed to talk to Apple to get them to support the new uh, .ORF uh, OM1 Mark II file format. So when I called Apple and asked for a senior advisor, um, they could only tell me that it was not supported and I would have to wait for this to uh, be supported in the future through uh, an iOS update. Well, it was already nine months since the OM was, uh, OM1 Mark II was released, and it just didn't make any sense it wasn't being supported yet. Ideally, the advisor would have taken this info and said, we'll get this to our development team and add support for this format, and away we go. Instead, he said it was up to OM to provide data and initiate an update to the iOS. So here we had him pitting the, the two big guys together, right? So, so I asked if they could talk to OM, and he said uh, he had no control uh, over being able to do that or any channels to even request that that happen. So it's kind of a stalemate. So then I called OM customer support, and they said it was up to Apple to fix this, and hopefully it would be uh, fixed in a future update. Uh, so I pointed out that it had been a long time already and asked when it was going to happen. So they kindly reached out to their technical team and shared my concerns with them and uh, created a case ticket for me. Then they actually did reach out to Apple, <clears throat> provided them with the needed files uh, to update the iOS uh, to handle these. 
So yesterday, I got a call from the OM Systems customer support that Apple had actually updated the iOS and everything was now working. Um, this is so cool, they have it fixed. For example, I just airdropped a RAW file to my iPad and my iPhone and it opens right up in, in photos. So now I can look at the files before I import them. Um, I started that process uh, with them in November and uh, they've, uh, they've got it fixed already here for me. So um, now the operating system can recognize and process the files and lets you manage and edit them easily. The one missing piece is the icons themselves just show .orf and do not show a thumbnail icon. My Canon RAW images display thumbnails just fine, but not OM. So uh, that included the original OM one as well. So uh, that'll be my next project uh, to try to push for in my David and Goliath journey in photography. Um, I have to commend OM Systems customer support and their willingness and eagerness to help anytime I have issues such as this. They've been really good to work with. Um, they even told me they want customers to bring them issues and uh, ideas and places to improve upon uh, you know, their offering to us. Uh, so that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, it's a rare treat and I'm grateful for it. I love their equipment and I'm, I changed all my gear to OM uh, in 2024 and it was one of the best moves I've ever made. Um, I actually have a, some galleries on my web page under a, a, a section called Destination Wildlife. I was in Florida in the spring, Grand Tetons around Thanksgiving, and uh, end of the year uh, down in Costa Rica. So if you go on there, you can uh, go in and see what I was able to do shooting my OM-1 Mark II and their uh, 150 to 400 f4.5 uh, birding lens. It's an incredible lens. And I also carry the 40 to 150 as an intermediate uh, uh, telephoto lens. Um, it's pretty awesome. I carry both of them on a sling, one on each side. Um, so uh, it's it's a, a, an incredible combination. It's some incredible firepower to have out there. So if you want to have a look at that, uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, all as Keith's Frame of Mind, K-E-I-T-H apostrophe S, Keith's Frame of Mind. Be sure to like and follow and subscribe on all these platforms as I continue posting and creating images and uh, the, some videos of some custom live edge wood slab furniture that I build. A little something in there for everyone. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, bye for now.